September 29th 2019 Hotel Rudra Sagar village A cloudy and rainy day dawned on that morning in this beautiful Himalayan valley Sagar We were advised against doing the trek saying that we could get caught in freezing rains up in the mountains But my heart told me otherwise I was ready to head into the mountains that morning and nothing would change that. Uh, that's it. So I'm excited. I'm going to wear my raincoat, rain gear. I don't know how much of this camera work I can do today. I'll try my best because this is not waterproof. So it's going to be a little tricky. But as always I'm excited because it's a trip to one of the rarest Shiva temples and um people here are saying that even if you spend 5 minutes at this temple the amount of peace that you get is inexplicable so you can see the rain is not going to stop me but i am continuing to go with this look at the clouds i'm going to take this this trek with a lot of prayer because visibility is going to be pretty bad up there i am sure um But let's see, there is some miracles that await us because we are going to almost fourteen thousand feet at one point. So hopefully things will get a little more clearer and the clouds will be below us. Uh, so having said that, Jai Bhole Nath. I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast, uh, parathas, which is standard here, one paratha for me, and then we are heading out. We are going to trek about ten kilometers up into the mountains. and there is a hut in a place called panar bugial so i'm going to we're going to spend the night there let's see what what uh, what awaits us there as well i hope somebody is there because of all this rain if nobody is there then <laughs> we'll see everything is in question uh, i'm excited it's adventurous and it is so i feel so deeply connected with something so inside i mean i don't know it's is it the shiva energy i don't know i just feel so deeply connected so peaceful and calm and all this things which i don't know what awaits me there it doesn't scare me it just gives me a sense of calmness and we said you know what just let's resign to a supreme power that's guiding our steps and just go in this journey because this journey up the hill is actually for me a journey deep inside you see most of the clouds are even below us there down in the valley so this place is soaking wet right now soaking wet but i have told shiva nothing is going to stop me shiva test me as much as you want i am coming to see you i am coming to get this this lingam consecrated because i feel everything in kaivalya yoga gurukulam revolves around the shiva concept the shiva energy shiva lingam is that symbolic and i want to consecrate it at these places i may never get a chance to do it again so i'm grateful All right, I am getting wet. So, let me go in and as we head off in a little bit, <clears throat> we'll try and catch as much as we can. This is uh, by the way Hotel Rudra trying to get some light. And this is the view I have from my room. Beautiful. This is the entrance I got the first room. Uh um, pretty decent bed to sleep on. But right now it's in a mess, so just forgive me for that. But everything was drenched yesterday. This is the bag I'm taking with me. I mean, the porter is going to help me carry this bag. It's not really heavy, but I'm just going to take his help. And that's the little bag I'm going to take. It's all. It's got plastic cover inside. This is my raincoat I'm going to wear. Uh, pretty much that's also a TV covered with right now. My. They have a decent bathroom here. Thank God for a geyser, so you get hot water. The tap, a pretty clean toilet. It's not a bad place for eight hundred rupees a night, or so, somewhere around that price. It's pretty decent. I like it. I would come back to this place again. So, we walked down the road, 
and this is the Sri Rudranath Pavesh, Pravesh Dwar. Beautiful place to enter. They made kind of an arch, and so with a prayer to Lord Ganesha and to Shiva Jai Bholenath. We are headed out to do this trek. Abhi bajajo, bhaiya. Bhagwan ki prasna sevas. Om Sri Ganesha Irma. The climb began with steep incline, right from the get-go. Fortunately, the first couple of kilometers had a well-defined path. It took us through a little hamlet with quaint little homes and friendly villages. If I got the name right, this beautiful hamlet was called Gangol Gaon. Somewhere up in the clouds, in the beyond, lies our destination for today, Panar Bugyal. So we can see 200 feet ahead of us and that's all we need for now. Much like in the spiritual path, you don't need to see the path all the way. That's what makes it an adventure. If everything is too clearly laid out, What's the fun in it, right? The discovery of the self is, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what is the self like. But I can see a hundred feet now, a path opens up and I keep following. Just faith. Shraddha, faith and saburi is consistency. Look at Suresh. <laughs> he is hardly tired. He's not, I mean, there's not tired, but he's hardly breathing heavy. For him, it's a walk in the park. Of course, he's 22, 23 years. Bhai Salkyo? Yes. 22 years old from Nepal. He's settled with his family in Badrinath. He's godsend. Suresh Bahadur. Bahadur means a fearless one. So, there he is. And there we are. Maybe a couple of thousand feet above now. I paused because I needed to take a few deep breaths. My heart rate went up, which is uh, natural. But I don't have any watch. Uh, I didn't bring those kind of things because either you lose them or you have to keep charging them. So that's like a pain. But the rain seems to have subsided a little bit. And uh, so we just stopped in this place for a brief moment. As you can see, these steps are continuing. So let's see how long they last before we enter the woods, which is out there somewhere. Today is the first day of Navratri. Yesterday was a new moon. So all the offering to the ancestors, forefathers was all done. I performed them in Badrinath. And it is said, if you do it in Badrinath, you don't have to do any more anywhere. So I did a final Pindadan, offering of food, I guess, Pinda. And then I did what is called a Tarpan. Some other time we'll take time to explain these. And then I did a Havan. So now my father, my mother, grandparents, great grandparents, and I said, everyone in my Gotra, Srivatsa Gotra, my gurus, everyone. I did for everyone's salvation. And so now they join the realms of the gods. They've gone into another dimension. Now, all this is of course a matter of belief at this point for those who cannot or are not sure how to experience them. But while offering that yesterday, I felt a sense of deep freedom, a sense of cutting the bonds or cutting the ties, if you were, with great happiness, I saw them off. And so I'm grateful I got to do that. Anyway, so much for now. I'm going to continue the climb 
And as I was saying, on the first day of Navratri, the nine days where the mind struggles to get beyond good and evil, it's not a fight against evil, as it's popularly believed. I believe it's a fight to rise above good and evil. So you stop judging situations as good or bad. Stop judging people who is spiritual, who is not spiritual, who is a sinner, who is a saint. Who are we to do that judgment? So how about a mind that just bears witness, accepts all people, all situations? So that is what these nine days are, rising above good and evil. So today, the first three days is the energy of Kali, Parvati, the wife of Shiva, who destroys ignorance, darkness, laziness, or tamas. All right, let me catch a breath and we'll take a few more videos as the weather clears. The climb continued and after the first two kilometers, we came across our first pit stop, Chandra Koti. Namaste Ji, Jai Bolenath. Jai Bolenath. What's your name? गजेंद्र नाथ सिंह गजेंद्र नाथ नाथों पर बैठा ना गजेंद्र हम तो नाथ के सेवा करने वाले हैं क्या बात है he says the Lord is upstairs and he is the सेवा और he is the volunteer who serves आपका नाम भाई साहब गौरव 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 और अंकित अंकित अच्छा दर्शन हुआ आपका so they have had the दर्शन and coming and they are saying it's going to be raining up there so We'll see how it goes from Banner. Now it's about 10 o'clock. It's about 1 hour. So it's about 2 km in 1 hour. Yes, it's about 2 km in 1 hour. Yes, it's about 2 km in 1 hour. Okay. So let's see what awaits us. Alright, you see how beautiful this journey is, this experience is. How I wish... You see how beautiful this journey is, this experience is. How I wish... All seekers of God do this. Not because God is up in the hill. Let me see if I can get a little more quiet space. I know I talk a lot into the camera, but I'm so inspired. I just want to share it. You can, if I ever publish this, you can just skip it if you're not interested. But my heart is so filled with joy. It's just amazing. Because like I said, the search for Shiva or this experiencing Shiva up in the clouds is like going within. And a part of that mind says, do you really have to struggle? Does God ask you to do all this crazy stuff? I don't have an answer for that. But when I, when these questions come to mind to my head, I know it is that, that part of the mind who wants this comfort zone, who has established the comfort zone of warm showers and cozy beds and electricity and all of that. And when you shake that comfort zone, when you shake that earth, when you shake that tamas, that's the first night of Shivratri, when you shake the tamas, the lethargy that, that is holding you back in the earth element, then the mind starts asking all this and then very conveniently we say, but well, God is within, you don't have to go anywhere, just go within. Uh, to me, and this is just me speaking, I'm not, I'm not judging anyone, it's just me. When I hear that mind, I feel that it is out of fear of discomfort, out of fear of the unknown, of what is out there. Look at that. What is up there? What is up there? It's just thick jungle. So, out of that fear, the mind decides to become philosophical. There's a difference between philosopher and a sadhaka or a spiritual aspirant. Philosopher who, wants, who understands everything intellectually and seeks peace in that. And that's perfectly okay. An aspirant, a sadhaka, one who practices it, wants to experience that philosophy. And so he goes out of that comfort zone and constantly keeps going out of that comfort zone. So whether it is yoga asanas, stretching beyond your comfort zone or doing these pilgrimages, trekking to these places, again, staring fear, in, fear in, into its face and it's all part of that journey and I'm so grateful to do this. So hopefully someday, if you're watching it and you're interested, we can do this intense spiritual journey together. It'll always be my honor to do this service. Always, always, always. And with those powerful feelings of service, austerity and self-realization, I spent the next six hours chanting, singing and climbing the mountain.
I was filled with awe and reverence at the mystical beauty, the lush greenery, and the vibrant colors of the dense jungle. When you're alone like this, well, I'm not really alone. I have Suresh Bahadur with me. You, you begin to feel that you're being watched. <laughs> And I know there are millions of eyes watching us right now. Little, little creatures. This place is known to have big cats, bears. I know they're not anywhere in the vicinity. But you get the feeling there are millions of creatures. Frogs, toads, butterflies, birds watching. <laughs> Because they are so tuned to the rhythms of the forest that creatures like us who come to disturb the rhythm, they become aware. We are right now into the thick of the clouds. You can see behind me, it's just clouds. So... <laughs> but beyond these thousands and millions pairs of eyes, million pairs of eyes watching us <laughs> there is Suresh calling out to Shiva I'm aware of one eye watching all these eyes in us the third eye of Shiva and I trust in that perspective everything is exactly as it should be there is a reason why you are perhaps watching this video at this point reason why I am here at this point Everything is perfectly orchestrated. The joy of accepting circumstances, joy of engaging the path as it unfolds itself, is a joy by itself. So let's continue along in this jungle and see what awaits us ahead. This wonderful journey to Rudranath, Rudranath, the face of Shiva. There were times when the silence of the jungle was so overpowering that the senses became unconditionally mesmerized with the surroundings. During such divine moments, my mind seemed to vanish as I experienced a sense of deep connection with the trees, flowers, creepers. The rocks beneath my feet seem to be an extension of the earth element from within me. The boundaries of the flesh would disappear to make room for an unbridled expansion of the Shiva consciousness, an experience in oneness, Kaivalya. The spirit merges with nature. Magnificent. Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dhimahe Tanno Rudra Prachodayad Tanno Rudra Prachodayad Tanno Rudra Prachodayad Vugyal, Jai Rudranaji. Probably some people here. This is what you can expect. Well, this is not where we're going to camp tonight. Namaste, Jai Bolenath. Aplog jare ho ya vapsi? 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 Aplog jare ho ya
देवेंद्र सिंह आपको तो यूट्यूब में देखा हमने आप तो बहुत फेमस हो गए बढ़िया देवेंद्र सिंह जी ही टेक्स केयर ऑफ गेस्ट हेयर ही कुक्स फॉर देम रहने का भी जगह है ना आपका बहुत बढ़िया अभी जाना है तो आगे ऐसे अच्छा हम वापसी में मिलेंगे आपको हाँ जी हाँ जी हाँ जी जय भोलेनाथ सो यू आर पीपल कैंपिंग हेयर पीपल स्टे इट्स रेनिंग सो आई पुट द कैमरा इन रियल क्विक वी आर हेरिट फर्दर अप इन टू द वुड्स वी आर लुकिंग फॉर पनर बुघियाल बुघियाल इज लाइक अ मेडो एन ओपन स्पेस last one hour or so i am so lost my body is become so warm with such heightened consciousness i can't i don't even know how to describe this this comes after intense yoga practice and deep meditation and it's coming so effortlessly as you're trekking alone my whole back along the spinal cord is alive you know I could take a dip in this in a really cold water because it's my whole body is so warm and so hot my head included so I kept drinking some water and dabbing the cold water on top of my head you would think it's cold and damp out here look at this it does seem like that my body is tired but I am not it's just my spirit is just so awake so blissful okay Let's see. Oh, this is Luiti. Yes, I was right. Luiti. So this is Panad Bugyal, and a lot changed from Luiti to Panad in the last two kilometers. Temperatures have dropped drastically. I think by at least twenty degrees, it's it's freezing now. It kind of cooled my body, so it was welcome. But now I don't think somewhere out there in this real cold weather out is the temple. So we are not going to trek anymore. I think we're going to stay put in this Bugyal here. eat whatever we get and try and find a a place to sleep dry myself because it's like freezing rain right now and i am so wet happy but <laughs> there i am i don't know if you can even see me there against the light beyond me is that crazy cloud completely covering all of this place So the crazy yogi has reached uh, Panar Bugyal. We have another four, three, four hours of trekking to do, but I'm going to catch it tomorrow. Ah, my brain is so, my head is cold, and I like it because the body was so hot at one point. So I will dry myself now and see what we're going to get in this place. Something nice here, hopefully. Some place to sleep. Uh, I want to see some place inside in this dark place. Jai Bhole Nath. There, let's see what is there. 
भैया जय भोलेनाथ बद्रीनाथ जय भोलेनाथ अरे बाप रे ये है पनर ना पनार पनार भुगयाल सो हियर आई एम एट पनर पनार भुगयाल इट इज अ रियल टाइनी रूम आई पुट माय स्लीपिंग बैग दे गिव अस अ लिटिल काइंड ऑफ अ कॉटन मैट्रेस इट्स इंसुलेट्स यू फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड दैट्स नाइस एंड देन आई हैव पुट uh my sleeping bag and um just to get a little warm because let's say the temperature just dropped now i think it's probably i don't know 30 32 degrees or less wind chill is really low anyway <coughs> we're going to rest here tonight there are about place for about 5 6 people we're going to crowd in here and sleep off um i think i'll be ready to crash out It's only 4:30 in the afternoon, so just resting for a bit, and then we'll go and see if we can get something to eat um, in the little kitchen that you saw when you entered, and then come back and crash. So that's the plan. Tomorrow we'll get up early, and once there is daylight, we'll head out to the temple and see what awaits us. So signing off for now. Good night. Please consider subscribing. to our channel on YouTube the KYG channel so you stay tuned to fresh yoga and spiritual content from KYG thank you for watching enrich your practice empower your mind enlighten your spirit namaste clean kaiwal